pleasure to be here, Robert. Thank you for the invite and thank you for the support. So we'll go through this as quickly as possible and get us back on schedule here. So as he said, we're uh, Western Exploration. We're a Nevada-focused exploration company. Um, again, the cautionary statement, um, we need to put these in all our presentations. I'm not going to pretend I'm going to read through this. And as you can see, ours is longer than most. So why Western Exploration? Um, we are in Nevada, which is a quality leading mining jurisdiction in the world. Not only are we in Nevada, but we're only three kilometers away from paved highway and near infrastructure. We're an experienced improvement management team. The majority of our team has been together for over 20 years through Argonaut, Meridian Gold, and Yamana Gold. Uh, we have a resource, as Robert said, of about 1.3 million ounces of gold. Over half of it is in the indicated category, and that is rapidly growing as we speak. Gravel Creek is a high-grade gold discovery. We just announced some results from that last week with gold grades of up to 254 grams per ton gold and over three kilos of silver. Um, Dobie George is also on our property, is a near-term open pit production opportunity. It's right at surface oxide. This year or this week, we just released metallurgical results that indicate heap leaching um, at a half-inch crush of about 72% uh, for gold. Um, again, it's a plus one gram per ton open pit deposit right at surface. And we're expanding on several different targets that we got, and one of them we'll talk about today. So the company in short, um, Agnico Eagle does own 16% of the company. They've been an active supporter of the company since 2020. They sit on a technical committee with the uh, technical team at uh, Western Exploration. Our largest shareholder, shareholder is Golconda. It's a private equity group out of New York. It's a closed fund. There's about 70 high net worth individuals and family offices in that fund. Uh, they, per, they funded the company between 2013 and 2021 when we uh, made the discovery at Gravel Creek in 2013 and completed the technical report in 2021. And then we took the company public. Um, because it's a closed fund, they are diluting. Um, we do have about 12% of institutional shareholders in the company and management directors own about 7% as well. So where are we located? We're just north of Jarrett Canyon, about 100 kilometers north of the city of Elko. We're right off of Paved Highway. Uh, you can see First Majestic, Jarrett Canyon, Boreador, Big Springs, and then our project, including the Gravel Creek Wood Gulch deposits and Dobie George. That's the Independence Gold Trend. It's host to about 15 million ounces of gold in resource and past production at Jarrett Canyon. Uh, we've got the same geology as Big Springs and Jarrett Canyon on the west side of the project. On the east side, Gravel Creek and Wood Gulch are the most recent high-grade epithermal discovery made in northern Nevada, akin to Midas and sleeper deposits. Um, we've got water and power nearby within five kilometers, and we are permitted with the Forest Service till the end of 2029 for drilling. So we've got two resource areas that are highlighted here, Dobie George on the left, Wood Gulch Gravel Creek on the right. Maggie Summit has all the earmarks of those two deposits, and we're currently permitting, permitting that for drilling next year. So Dobie George is about a half million to 600,000 ounces oxide right at surface, a gram per ton. Wood Gulch Gravel Creek, we have about a million ounces there. Sulfide, it's uh, at surface at Wood Gulch and, and uh, at depth at Gravel Creek, and we'll look at a section to detail that. Uh, Gravel Creek, as I said, we just announced those drill results last week, and we think we found the extension of the Gravel Creek deposit at higher grade, about four times higher grade than the current resource. So Wood Gulch and Gravel Creek, as I said, are the newest epithermal high-grade vein discoveries in Nevada. It's in an area that's never been explored for high-grade epithermal gold deposits. Wood Gulch was mined by Homestake in the late 80s. They actually started mining this deposit, not realizing that the extension in the largest part of the deposit was about a kilometer to the west, or east, sorry. In 2013, we drilled one hole to test that concept, and our first hole hit 29 meters of 3.4 gram per ton gold and 59 gram per ton silver. Since that date, we've drilled 90 drill holes and now have that resource of close to 1 million ounces at Gravel Creek. This is the deposits here, Wood Gulch on the left. You can see it right at surface. It was heap leached and mined by Homestake between 88 and 92. The Gravel Creek Discovery targets three and four. I won't go through all of these, but just be aware that target four is the target that we are drilling this year, and we look forward to drilling in 2024, and we believe that's going to offer significant resource expansion potential of the Gravel Creek deposit in the near term. 
That section there is about three kilometers of strike length. The current deposits outline less than one kilometer. So a lot of upside potential with very limited drilling. Where we do have drilling, you can see there's three holes, WG360, 421. They've all intersected mineralization. Those high grade targets in number four we'll look at in the next section, which is in the hanging wall of the Gravel Creek deposit. So we intercepted with two drill holes, 456 and 457, very high grade um, intersections up to 254 gram per ton gold and almost three kilos of silver along a north-northwest trending zone of southwest dipping veins. You can see them there in the section on the right, 0.7 meters, 144 gram per ton gold, but the two veins that are sub-parallel are coming right off the Gravel Creek resource. We've got one vein of about 2.1 meters, averaging almost 30 gram per ton gold equivalent, and another one about over three meters drill width at almost 26 gram per ton equivalent. The average grade of the resource right now is about six gram per ton. So these are in excess of four times the current resource grade at Gravel Creek. When you look at it in section, you can see um, that blue arrow is pointing to where it's open. It's open 600 meters along strike which is about the same size as the current resource with four times the current grade of the resource. So significant exploration potential that can be quickly turned into resource expansion at Gravel Creek. Looking at Dobie George, which was on the far left, it is at surface oxide deposit. It's within the sedimentary rocks. You can see that the green, or sorry, the yellow um, resource is above a gram per ton. So very continuous high grade within those blue open pits at $1,800 gold. We just completed the metallurgy. As I said, we get 72% heap leach recovery with very low reagent consumption. Um, the infrastructure, water, power, all in place. And we own the private land just adjacent to the resource. So all infrastructure would be built on private land. You can see some of the grades we're getting out of Dobie George when we drilled it last year for metallurgical purposes, up to 27 grams per ton, or 27 meters of two grams per ton, 26 meters of seven, 74 meters of 1.7. So this is a very high grade at surface oxide deposit. It is recoverable by heap leach. And when you look at the reagent consumptions, less than 0.4 kilo cyanide per metric ton of ore and about one kilo of lime per ton of ore. It's got very good permeability. The load permeability test include at a quarter inch crush that we could stack this to 91 meters stack height without any agglomeration required. It's expandable to depth. It will go into sulfide, but as Gravel Creek is a sulfide deposit, this would be an addition to our current resource. You can see the, res the rest ridge deposit open at depth. It's never been drilled at depth into the sulfide zone. Our geophysics indicated it's wide open in that area. And in 2017, we drilled a target called Doby Deep, and we hit up to six meters of 7.24 grams, 500 meters below the deposit, indicating that this thing has a lot of legs yet. So, Current and upcoming catalysts, in Q4 we updated the drill results. Actually, those came out in January, so we're a little delayed on that. The column test work came out on Dobie George. In Q1 and Q2, we'll take all that information, we'll start a new technical report for both deposits, and we'll do additional drilling Q3 and Q4, predominantly focused on Gravel Creek, that high-grade area, looking to expand it along strike and get a resource number that would be um, close to 500,000 to 1 million ounces in the near term. And then the Dobie George PFS, we'd look to complete in Q4 of this year or Q1 of next year. And that would highlight uh, a near surface or an at surface high grade oxide deposit uh, that we've substantially de-risked at this point. So thank you for your attention. We've got a booth out in the hallway and we'd welcome any questions. Nicole Cowles, our Director of Investor Relations is here with me. Um, Nicole, can you just put up your hand? So she's right there. If you have any questions, we'd, we'd uh, love to talk to you. Thank you very much.